Okay, today we're talking about how to swim in water. I'm only going to talk about the swimming part. Everything else I've pretty much talked about in other previous videos, uh, such as the mouse buttons and how an object may not be there until you hit it and then the object pops up. So I'm going to just talk about the water part of this video. And then um, you can download the GMX file and look at every all the other parts to this this game. Let's get started here. Okay, so basically what I want to let me show you how it's going to perform here, and then I'll go into detail about it. All right, so you can move left, right, jump, jump. Can't do a double jump gets in the water, you can jump. It kind of floats up a little bit just like in the water. And then you can jump up here. Okay, so basically how you do this is um, in the water I have it set to depth at minus 5 visible. So that means that the, the water is going to be in front of the character because the character is set to depth at minus 1. Alright, so in the Corade I went to the control tab, dragged over a coded sheet, and I state that I say swim underscore check equals false. So basically that's pretty much stating that if he's not in the water then the code's going to be false. He's not going to be um, trying to float in the water and jump it up so many times. He's basically on land. That's pretty much what it's stating that. But when he when he collides with the water it's going to state that swim underscore check equals true. So that means now he's in the water, check the code, see if he's in there or not. He's in the water, so he's going to do something. Okay. Uh, this code is what I've talked about in previous videos about gravity, so I'm not going to talk about that. Um, and the land mask, the code, I've talked about this before, v speed equals others dot v speed and then um, dot colon dot comma um, basically that's stating that he's able to move back and forth on the on the land mask and that the land mass is solid splash knot basically um, talked about this too in the previous videos where the splash knot means that you see the splash is there on screen but it's not visible but once he hits that, it's going to switch to show a splash and the splash is going to happen for a millisecond and then it's going to jump so it's switch back to splash not there and perform that event, yes alright and then we got the bubbles that, that happen so the bubbles is this little small circle that's going to be kind of lower opacity and it's going to be traveling at um, one speed and then after four seconds it's going to jump back to the, the original position back to self so it's going to keep repeating back and forth I've talked about that in previous videos as well and the depth is at minus four on the bubbles and so alright so now when he moves left and right when he moves right, there's a code that states that if he's in the water, if swim underscore check equals true, the brackets H speed equals 5, close brackets. So that means he's going to move a little um, slower in the water, but he's going to be able to jump in when he's in the water. He can, he can keep jumping, 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 jumping. 
unlike when you're on land and gravity is a big factor but when you're in water it, gravity is not a big factor in this part so it kind of switches so that's what happens that's why he's able to keep jumping in the water there's no gravity pretty much until he gets out of the water then gravity happens again and then in the press up state if swim underscore check equals true and in the brackets v speed equals minus six then he's going to jump six speed six feet six speed up and that's why the minus is there so it makes him jump up if no minus is there he would probably pretty much go down all right and so then we have him going left and it's going to be minus five because he's going left if he was going right it's positive five so if v speed equals check equals true brackets h speed notice that it's h speed because you're going horizontal equals minus five brackets in the up state it was v speed because that's vertical all right and this no jump left means that after so many seconds milliseconds he's going to switch back to left character um and that's to prevent him from keep double jumping when he's not in the water and also i have that checked as well check to swim swim underscore check equals false so same applies to the right and left character that's going to happen to the no jump left and the no jump right they have the same same code in there no jump and like i said the no jump basically states that you're going to press the key either on the mouse or the keyboard and then he's going to switch to this no jump right or the no jump left depending on which way you're going for so many milliseconds and then he's not allowed to jump any more than just one jump and then he's going to switch back to either the left or right character and then he'll be able to jump again and this no jump right and this no jump left has no gravity set that's the only difference compared to the right and left character which they have a gravity set in the step so no jump right has no step no gravity because i don't want him to keep jump double jump and if i have the gravity in there then he's going to double jump and i don't want him double jump triple jump i don't want that to happen so that's why there's no step with the gravity in there all right that's pretty much it so i'll put that code in on youtube and you can uh download the gmx file and look at the the notes i put on there thanks for watching